In this video, I'll discuss the ultraviolet visible spectroscopy technique. This technique consists of a deuterium or tungsten lamp for the ultraviolet and visible region wavelengths respectively, a monochromator, sample and reference beams, and a detector. Exposing the sample to UV light will give the UV spectrum. Cuvettes are used for sample holding and are kept inside the instrument for introducing samples to the light pass. Glass, plastic, silica, or quartz cells can be used as cuvettes. Plastic and glass cuvettes absorb wavelengths below 310 nanometer, so they cannot be used for absorbance studies below that wavelength. Therefore, quartz cuvettes are used for absorption measurement in the ultraviolet range as they are transparent to the wavelengths above 180 nanometer. But how is the principle and working of ultraviolet visible spectroscopy? A beam traveling from the light source to the detector without sample interaction is used as the reference beam. The sample beam interacts with the sample so that it is exposed to the ultraviolet light of the continuously changing wavelengths. Energy is absorbed when the wavelengths emitted corresponds to the energy level that promote an electron to a higher molecular orbital. The ratio between the sample and reference beam intensities is recorded by the detector. The wavelength is determined by the sample's maximum absorption level. When a difference is found in the intensities, that means the reference beam's intensity is higher than the sample and the particular wavelength is plotted as having the high ultraviolet absorbance. Ultraviolet visible spectrum refers to the reflectance or absorbance spectra in the UV visible region. When the light beam is passed through the solution, a part of the light may be absorbed and the rest will be transmitted through the solution. The ratio of light entering the sample to the light that exits the sample at a fixed, uh, fixed wavelength is called transmittance. The negative logarithm of transmittance is called absorbance. Here I give you a few examples of analysis of nanoparticles by ultraviolet visible spectroscopy. The synthesis of silver nanoparticles in aqueous solution was monitored by recording the absorption spectra at a wavelength range of 300 and 400 nanometer. In the ultraviolet visible spectrum of silver nanoparticles, a single, strong, and broad surface plasma resonance or SPR uh, or SPR peak was observed at 414 nanometer that confirmed the synthesis of silver nanoparticles. Past studies suggested that an SPR peak located between 410 and 450 nanometer has been observed for silver nanoparticles and might be attributed to spherical nanoparticles. The optical properties of the titanium dioxide nanoparticles were studied using ultraviolet visible spectrometer. This figure shows the absorbance of titanium nanoparticles sample at room tem temperature. The spectra between 200 and 1200 nanometer range were studied. 
It has shown a peak at 354 nanometer wavelengths with absorbance of 0.86, which means that it exhibits good absorbance at UV region. In the next video, I'll discuss Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy or FDIR. And I will use FDIR analysis to identify the existing bands in different materials. If this is your first time here and you want to learn material characterization techniques, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching this video.